Roddy Nation TV. Welcome back to the channel. Before we even get started, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Now, I know you people probably heard about um, the death of Dante Wright, the young, the young brother that got killed in um, Minneapolis, the suburb of uh, Brooklyn Center. If you haven't heard about this uh, or seen the video, we're going to get into it. I'm sorry I can't show you the video right now, but uh, we're going to get into it. So let's go. Police in Minneapolis, suburb of Brooklyn Center, declared protests to be unlawful assembly Tuesday evening after demonstrations of the death of 20-year-old Dante Wright. Now, uh, demonstrations continue for the uh, third consecutive night, you know, because this brother got killed, you know, got killed, right? You know, protests were peaceful late Tuesday afternoon, but as the sun set, you know, you know, uh, as they say, shit hit the fan when the sun set, right? At the Brooklyn Center, you know, police officers used pepper spray and uh, flash bombs at, at protesters. Water bottles and other uh, projectiles were, you know, were thrown at at, at the uh, at the police. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, here come the usual suspects after the police kill that young man. Here come the, the police again. Here come the abuser, <laughs> you know, to come, I guess, to clean up the scene, to stop people from, you know, being upset about, you know, this young man's death. But, you know, that's the people. Here, here come the people to control the crowd who, who administer the law. But the people who administer the law are breaking the law. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of weird, right? Is they, do they call that an oxymoron? What is that? You know, the people who administer law is breaking the law. And the people, it, it's just it's just weird to me, right? It's shit is crazy. You know, a curfew was in effect for Brooklyn Center, Minneapolis, and St. Paul, according to, um, uh, to a tweet. Now, however, the curfew for Brooklyn Center went into effect earlier. And uh, according to screenshots of emergency alerts issued to people in the area, the police department, public safety officials have issued multiple dispersal orders. You know, these people are upset and they want them to just get off the street. In the midst of the George Floyd um, trial. So you got the George Floyd trial going on, right? This young man, 20 years old, get killed right down the street in the midst of the George Floyd trial. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, now check this out. The police, um, police officer, she resigned. She's a 26-year veteran. You mean to tell me she can't tell the difference between a gun and a taser? Now, also, the, um, the police chief, he resigned. It's crazy, people. You know what I'm saying? We're going to free fall this. I just read you, you know, a little bit of the stuff that's going on, man. But I don't care. They're going to smear this young man's name just like they're doing in the George Floyd trial right now as we speak. Right now as we speak, as this young man's death is being investigated and those two um, police chief and the, and, and, the, and the cop that shot him done resign. Why would you resign so quick if you didn't do anything wrong? Tell me that. Why would you resign so quick if you didn't do anything wrong? Why would the chief resign? Because he don't want to prosecute her. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. But like I said before, Roddy Nation TV, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is going on? You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry if I'm a little bit upset on this one right here, but it's just like we can't even get a break. You know, like I said before, pandemic is raging. And um, we got all this stuff going on in the world, but they can find time to keep their foot on um, black people's necks. You know what I'm saying? We are still second class, second class citizens. You know what I'm saying? There's so much important shit that uh, we need to uh, respond to and, and and try man and to address. You know what I'm saying? This right, this this one right here really kind of touched me right here to see this young man lose his life. She's a She's been on the force 26 years, longer than he's been alive. And you mean to tell me she doesn't know the difference between a taser and a gun? She's been on the force. Just check that out, people. She's been on the force 26 years. This man is 20 years old. Took that man's life. Took everything he ever wanted, ever, ha ever would have. Can't see his kid grow up. How long are people going to stand for this? How long is the government going to protect these 
crooked cops. How long? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm I'm upset. Definitely I am. Definitely upset. You know, um, you got people in Colorado, uh, Boulder, Colorado, this man killed 10 people. They walked him out handcuffed. You got the people who killed the spa. Uh, eight people, how many people are in those spa shootings? I made a video, check it out. Walk that man to jail. The, the people in at the um in Colorado at the um at the at the uh, movie theater where he killed what twelve people walked him to jail. They stopped this man. He ain't stopped this man on a traffic violation want on a warrant also, and uh, he can't get his day day in court. He ain't killed nobody. He can't get his day in court. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong, man. We want justice, man. I, I We need justice for this. She resigned. I don't care if you resign. I don't care if you resign. You, we, we need our day in court with you. 26 years on the force, we need to see you in court. And whoever, and that's like I'm saying, people, we need to get our stuff together. You know, I'm talking to my people, black people. We need to see more people in, in DA's office and and I hate as police officers, we need to see people like, and I know you might disagree with me, a police is a police, but we need somebody who can relate to our struggle that, that when they see us, they don't automatically want to shoot us. We need that, bro. That's, that's all I'm saying. Rider Nation TV, I'm sorry if I went off the rails on this one, but this one, right? I mean, how long people are we going to, you know, stand for this? You know what I'm saying? You know, I just like to send my condolences out to that man, that young man's family, to his um, his kids and and the mother of his kids. His, I see the pain in his mother and father's eyes. This is horrible, horrible. Rowdy Nation TV, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. It, it, we're gonna keep bringing you the news and the hits because the hits are gonna keep coming. Don't pay for peace, you ain't gonna get it. You're not going to get it. Got to keep our head on the swivel and keep it moving. Roddy Nation TV, we out.